Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, I know I've been gone for a little while. With us closing down the dive shop, it was just a little bit in, in, too inconvenient for me to go in and get the camera gear to produce the cameras, especially since I was using the dive shop's cameras. So in short, it just actually made me go get my own. I was actually looking, originally looking to get an underwater housing unit for my Canon T, uh, T6. The housing unit itself was between 1200 and 3500 depending on the manufacturer. It's a big jump, it's, you know, outrageously priced considering I spent what, 600 for the camera, then they wanted, or like 650 for the camera, two lenses. Uh, the manufacturers again were wanting between 12 and $3,500 for a housing unit. I just couldn't bring myself to buy that when there are more cameras out there, other housing units out there, and everything else. So I did the math, and since you've seen most of my underwater videos, a lot of those videos were actually filmed on the Olympus TG5. The TG product line is actually by far, I think, one of the best starter uh, camera systems. Now, that said, it is a starter camera, but it has enough on there. If you could spend two, three years worth this camera and just start to get into good technical stuff. So it does have, the TG5 is a good camera in itself, but the TG6 is another step up. It's the same frame, everything else, software, hardware, not sure the inside components, what's different between the TG5, TG6. However, a uh, bunch of friends have gotten the TG6 throughout this year. They love it. Their quality of pictures and videos have just skyrocketed. So I went and bit, bit the bullet to get one. The re like I said, the reason why the housing unit from my Canon was just too outrageously priced. So I was able to get the TG6, this little camera with you know the little starter stuff, for around 350 bucks delivered from Amazon. Okay, here in the Mariana Islands, we actually have to pay a little bit extra shipping a lot of times because we're so we're out in the middle of the ocean. The Olympus housing unit is nice, but it's a single O-ring system. I always want the double O-ring system, so that's why I want to do this. The other nice thing about the TG product line, it is shockproof to 7 foot and waterproof to 50 foot. Long story short, one day I was just trying to get some stuff down, or move some stuff around, trying things out, fitting it in and taking it out of the housing unit. It slipped out of my hands, fell. It fell probably three and a half, four feet, no problems. You know, went diving later that day with it. At 50 feet, that's actually a pretty good dive for recreational diving. Uh, spectacular for free doctors, for the average free doctor. Was I was noticing when I took this out by itself with no housing unit, when I hit about 45 feet, it started giving me a depth warning. Basically, just um, made it come up. I, the deepest I went with this is 53 feet, no issues. So, I'm not big into pushing things way beyond their limit, but I do want to know if you advertise at 50 feet. Okay, it should be able to handle 50 feet. It does. It does very well. However, because some of my research dives uh, make me go beyond recreational limits uh, and I have to go into mixed gases, I'd also upgrade to a nicer housing unit because that would fail eventually. So I was looking around and I came across the sea frog. The nice thing is it's rated for 60 meters or 195 feet. It does come with a red lens filter. The back end is a clear, so you can see it. You do have a, it's a fog clear on the out rim. Around the lens, it is a clear. You have all the buttons, all the control devices. The one thing that also sold me on Sea Frog is not just, it's rated for deeper than the Olympus um, housing unit. It does have a moisture, a water sensor, okay? And the great thing is, I'll show you. hear that so that's just saying there's water inside can you hear that with this closed yes I actually tried it out the red light starts lights up so it gives you a warning indicator and I like that 
The other thing I liked about this is it does have a flash mount right here. And for your fiber optic cables, it mounts right here in this, into the side. The other thing that was great about the Sea Frog, it is a double O-ring system. I'm very particular about the double O-ring system because it's the redundancy. In scuba diving, we're always talking about redundancy, and I kind of laugh when people, you know, buy a single O-ring housing unit. So one O-ring fits inside, and it actually goes against the edge right here. Okay. Then the one O-ring is actually right in here, and it actually goes against this rim. So you have the two O-rings at a 90 degree angle, and I like that. It's a really great concept. You've got Sea Frog did a phen phenomenal job on their housing unit very impressed. They do come with some silicon grease, extra o-rings, an, an o-ring pick. Believe it or not, this is something that's very overlooked and it's a pain in the butt when you've got to remove, replace your o-ring on the middle of a dive and you don't have a pick. And then you nick, nick your housing unit and now you have a eternal flood. It does have a couple different, uh, or you know, three different o-rings in there. So, like I said, I am very impressed with the Sea Frog. Like going back to the fiber optic cables on the Olympus system, if you use a flash, you actually have to screw it into the flash diffuser. Okay, you actually almost ruin your flash diffuser, okay, to mount your flash cables. Here, they mount right inside of the, this black component right here, this little black piece, and it works amazing. Has a little small mirror right here, to flash into the fiber optics to trigger your flash. All right, like I said, I was really impressed. Price difference between the Olympus uh, housing unit was like, I was finding it between 229 and 249. This I got, or that was 229 to 249 plus shipping. This I got for 199 plus shipping has a vacuum, uh, the vacuum pump system. I have, that is extra, but it has the port already drilled in and ready to go. The vacuum pump system is about $100, $150 more. Right now, I don't see the need for it, but eventually I will. And eventually I will get it. Now, this mounting bracket, this is a point code, all solar aluminum, very easy to assemble, comes with a, mine came with five bolts. It was like one extra bolt. Now the mounting bracket right here, the other reason why I like this, this uh, bracket is these two mounts. It's a double mount system. I've actually seen it many times that uh, people's housing unit on a single mount has been twisted and they're sitting there filming this, but their camera's filming over here. And then they realize that they have to change it. Now I did go ahead and order this little lens. It's a, mic it's a macro lens. The only thing is, it only fits on the camera by itself. So when, whenever I go out trail hiking or whatever, I could actually put this on here and have some fun with it. You know, show you some uh, up close uh, pictures with different leaves, bugs, insects, whatever. Everything I got here was under a thousand dollars. The arms, these arms go up here, right? Now I'm, I'm still waiting on my locks to come in. Once they come in, also I'm waiting on my, my lights to come in. My lights were actually the most expensive purchase. They ended up being, uh, it was $700 a piece plus shipping, so it was about $1,450 uh, with shipping included. Then the under the $1,000 I have in this, $2,500. I have a second, second camera dedicated housing unit for the second camera. That way I can use my Canon more for land base. I'll use my TG6 more for uh, aquatic base, marine base. Over other than that, I am so impressed with the TG6. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I do have some comparison videos for you guys to look at. So if you have any questions about the TG6, please contact me. Put your comments below. Please let me hit the like and share button. 